Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a new video and now we will need to radically move forward into what we will be knowing as modular programming. So modular programming is more of like a concept than it's of anything to do with syntaxes or anything to do with, you know, any other fundamentals of programming. But modular programming in a conceptual way is very important. Now, it's important in the sense it is the, it, it's sort of a backbone for procedural programming. And it's also sort of a backbone for object-oriented programming and functional programming. Now, the most dominant two concepts in programming, in programming's perspective, are the, uh, are the programming that are known as object-oriented and the procedural programming approach. Now the procedural programming approach was pretty, um, it's the way that C, the program, C programming languages uses its uh, syntaxes, syntaxes to write programs. So the object-oriented approach came later in the, uh, it, it was introduced after we, uh, after, after the introduction of C++. So both of these programming approaches have their own advantages and disadvantages. But procedural programming is a little simpler than the object-oriented because you do not need to more of conceptualize your programs than you will have to than you, you would have to would have done with object-oriented programming. In object-oriented programming, you can actually watch my videos on PHP's object-oriented programming. I've got another video series that explains how you can write object-oriented codes using classes, using methods, using properties uh, in this PHP language. But in this context, in this video series, or in this se segment, I'm not going to explain to you how this object-oriented works. Because object-oriented is more of like conceptualizing your code and it must correspond with the real real world. So you need you need your codes, or you need you first need to think about the real world, and you need to conceptualize into diagrams, and then you need to transform those diagrams, or you need to transform those concepts into your programming. So that's not the case with procedural. Procedural does not deal with any sort of conceptualization, although you, you will have to think about what you're doing with your code. Now, one of the most important aspects of procedural approach is that we can uh, use modular codes. Now, modular codes needs to be uh, introduced with the construct of functions. Now, when you uh, conceptualize or when you turn one concept into a programming construct, you will have to deal with something that we know um, that we know as functions. So functions are sort of like blocks of code, or they're like uh, the bricks that are used to build a structure. So um, functions are, although you can actually quite find similarities between functions and loops, but they're not the same thing. Don't get me wrong. They are absolutely two different stuff. So functions, uh, what we have seen with uh, loops is that we can iterate through an array we can actually iterate through, an, through a list easily. We do not need to do the iteration part by ourselves, and we can actually tell the program, or we can actually write codes for the program that will do the, those iterations for us. But in, in terms of functional programming, I mean, in terms of uh, modular programming, we can define functions and we can actually write, include variables inside that function. We can actually include loops inside that uh, function. We can also include arrays inside that function. So we are forming a package or we are forming a box and we are putting all those constructs like the variables, the arrays, the loops inside the package and we are packaging it together. So whenever we need that, same package inside our program. We do not need to, uh, you know, write all those variables again. We don't. We do not need to write all those loops again. We do not need to write the arrays again. 
we just need to call the name of that package. We package all those stuff inside a box and then we place a name on that package. So whenever we need all the same stuff, all the same variables, all the same arrays inside uh, from that package, we just call the name. And whenever we call the name, our pro uh, program or our compiler will automatically know that, <coughs> sorry, our compiler will automatically know that we are referring to that specific package that contains those uh, the specified uh, variable that contains those specified arrays and that also contains those uh, specified loops. So that function, whenever we call that function, all the constructs inside that package will be imported by the compiler and those uh, loops will be run again by the compiler, those arrows will be used, those variables will be used by our program or our compiler. Now, the advantage of this modular programming is that you just need to write those variables, those specified variables once, you just need to use those specified loops once, and then you just place a name on the function and you're good to go. Whenever you need all those uh, var same variables, whenever you need all those same loops, you just need to call the name of the function and that's it. You, you don't need to repeat all those variables. You don't need to rewrite all those loops again. Your program will do the same for you. So that's what, uh, that's how we can conceptualize a function into a modular programming.